I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for this video that I'm about to make, but you know what? I don't care, because I want to be honest, and as I always am, I want to be honest with all of you guys, and if I don't like something, I don't like something. If I don't like the direction something's going, I'm going to be honest about it, and if I do like something, I'll also be honest about it. It just... Okay. I have been hearing the complaints of recent episodes of Ruby, and I have even stated a few things about it, even in my reviews, that it felt a little bit slow, some of these things were kind of in, not really much going on with Blake scenes. I've talked about it, but I've tried to kind of Push it to the side a little bit. I'm like, okay, you know what? Just build up. I know this season of Ruby is going to be taking a little bit longer than normal since there's more episodes and all that. So they're they're just, you know, taking the time to build up scenes, which makes perfect sense. I mean, as I've said many times in other series and all of that, I said that I'd rather have character development, characterization, and these, like, scenes that really just make you think about the characters and why they're doing these certain things than just non-stop action. And that's one of the big, you know, complaints many have had, is that they want more action, which, don't get me wrong, okay, I like my fair share of action, and I know Ruby is an action series, and Rooster Teeth is very well known for action, I mean, Let's look at Red vs. Blue, okay? Love that series. Love the story, but I love the action as well. It's fantastic. And I know one of the big reasons why people love Ruby so much is because of the action. It's not just because of the characters or the world or Ramonet and all that. It's, you know, it's the action. And even though that is the case and many feel that way, and I do slightly agree, I do like episodes to where we get to see the characters talk. For instance, last week's episode, okay? Last week's episode, I really enjoyed that episode. I really liked last week's episode of seeing, like, you know, Weiss, Yang, and also Ruby talk with each other, putting their hearts on the table. I love that. That was some stuff I really enjoyed, and so I was able to look past this stuff with Blake. However, this episode, straight up, no. No, 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 no. The only good stuff about this episode was the Raven and the, also the scene with Cinder. Raven and Cinder's combo. That, that was the best part about the episode. Just that. And I didn't expect a fight with him. I didn't because when I think about it, 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 it fits Raven more to negotiate and then try to, you know, wait for another day for her to initiate do whatever she wants to do. So it fits Raven's character and Cinder as well came there to negotiate, not to, you know, fight, you know, Raven at all. So, that entire scene makes perfect sense why there's no action. I have no complaints to that, and I loved it. It, it was just a great scene. The, the dissing to each other, all that, loved it. I'll get into that in a moment. However, once that scene was done, we move over into Blake's scene, okay? Now, as I've already said, Blake is my favorite character, okay? And this is why I'm getting a little bit ticked off. Th this is why I'm a little bit angry, because... I love Blake so much, but her character this season, ever since she went to the that island where, you know, her family's at, she's been pointless. There, there has not been any progression at all. Like, the progression of her character arc is so slow. It is so painfully slow that there's, like, nothing going on. And it becomes even more obvious that in this episode, it, Rooster Teeth went out of their way to skip fights and cut between scenes to just not show anything, and then just, you know, build up another fight and give us the exact same cliffhanger that we had from last week's episode. No joke, okay? Let me explain that. In last week's episode, Blake's mother was in peril. She was in trouble. Okay, you needed to go find out where, you know, Blake's mother was. And also, Blake's father was in trouble. We need to save him as well. Well, the thing is, this episode ends off with the exact same cliffhanger. You know, Gira, he's still in trouble, and Blake's mother, Kali, is still in trouble. They're both still in trouble, and that's the same cliffhanger as last week. Just son is there. And don't even get me started, okay? Don't even get me started with how how bad. Oh, okay, look. I I know I know Rooster Teeth is known for its comedy, and I love their comedy, okay? I, I love Rooster Teeth's comedy. I, I, I love their shows. I, I, I watch their YouTube channels and stuff. I, I love Rooster Teeth's comedy. It's funny. I, I'm a big fan of it. I've been with them for a long time. However, Ruby is a series, even though it has its comedy moments, it does have its comedy moments. There is some times to where it has a lot of serious moments, and this season has proved that it's tried to be a, a very serious. I mean, let's look at the Crow stuff when he was going trying to find people and recruit them to help him out. That was a very dark and depressing scene. It just shows how many people have lost their lives to, you know, stopping Salem. And in this case... You also see in this episode, you're like, okay, so Blake comes in, she just, you know, 
stopped the two brothers and all that, kind of froze them in place, but then all of a sudden, she just goes over, starts talking to son and her father, and then there's, like, a comedy moment, and then the two brothers break out and they're free, and then Blake moves on. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me, because Blake could have stopped them right then and there. She could have knocked them out, even if, you know, Rusty didn't want to go that far to kill their characters off, because they are fascinating characters. They could be very, very important for the future of the series. It just... Blake didn't even knock them out. She just froze them in place, jumped away from them, looked at son, looked at her father, and as they're about to fight those two, that Blake just froze, we get a screen cut. We go over to Crow, we go over to Raven, and then, like, what? Like, they, they skipped that fight that was built up right there. But then, on top of that, the way, you know, Blake comes in and she doesn't finish them off, even though she just froze them and she just leaves them before they can, you know, regroup and then break out, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Just, that's really... Really bad writing. I, I, I'm sorry. That's really bad writing. I know there was comedy there, but that was just bad writing. Didn't make sense with Blake's character from her backstory and how she was, you know, this, this very mysterious character that was also with Adam. It just doesn't make sense for her to, not at the very least, knock them out. That's just like, why? Like, why didn't she do that? Anyways, after that scene, we move back over into the Raven stuff with the Spring Maiden. And now, don't get me wrong, I like the Raven stuff, okay? I, I like that scene. However, that scene should not have been in this episode. It should not have been in this episode. And the reason for it was because of the the first convo we had in this episode with Cinder and Raven. That right there added so much drama and added so much to where you just to take a moment to think about, like, holy crap, you know, Raven's throwing Crow under the bus, she's gonna throw everyone under the bus, even her own daughter, and, I mean, she's gonna just run off and all of that, and just help them out to get the relic, and I'm like, whoa, this is very interesting, and it's obvious that Raven, she was negotiating and saying these things because she realized she probably couldn't win. She probably couldn't win because of how they were there, how they were stationed, she, so, so she realized, like, she best talk, she best talk this through for she can get out of it and then, you know, fight another day, which makes perfect sense. I like the convo, but it gives you a lot to think about if Raven would really go that far, since we have seen that she distanced herself from her family and how she acts, so you could obviously consider maybe she could go that far, which is very cool, and I like that convo, that's why it's a highlight to me. But then we have that scene after the Sun and Gira stuff, which, like I said, I didn't like how that fight was just skipped. I'm not one for fights, but I didn't like how that was done. The fight was skipped, and then we go over into Raven once again with the Spring Maiden, and the combo basically clarifies that Raven, she, you know, obviously is going to steal the relic first. She wants to get her hands on the relic first, but on top of that, she seems like she's going to go warn her brother. You, you see that, and I'm like, that removes the tension we had in the beginning part of the episode, because... Raven turning into, you know, her bird and all that, going off as a raven to go over to where Crow is at, that removes that tension. And because you know for a fact that's what she did. She just teleported over there. And then we have the Crow stuff with Oscar, and I'm like, okay. So the entire scene, honestly, it was pointless. It was literally just there to not show the fight. That's all the scene was. That scene should have been in next week's episode. It should have been. It, it should have been at the beginning of next week's episode, not this episode. But... That's my opinion there. Anyways, besides that, we also go into the stuff with Ilya and Blake. So, Ilya and Blake's fight, that's going to be happening, and I'm looking forward to it. It has been built up for a while, but judging by the track record that's been going down this season, you know, I'm willing to bet it might be skipped over. We might have a skip fight, which I really hope doesn't happen. Please don't do that, Rooster Deep. I'll be a little bit upset. I know... I know you're not probably confident in your skill to do action scenes anymore since you lost a very important piece to the, you know, Ruby team. I know that. I understand that. I'm, I understand. However, even though Monty is gone, the best way to carry on his legacy, in my personal opinion, not to sound rude or anything, is to honor him by still trying to do your best and showcase stuff like action scenes. Not try to avoid it because you're in fear that you can't do it. I mean, just that's how I feel. That's my personal opinion on it. Not to sound rude. I'm not trying to sound rude. I'm just going to say that. I'm just, that's my opinion on that. Anyways, though, <sighs> let's talk about the Cinder and Raven stuff because that was a good moment of the episode. So, Cinder and Raven, I, I like how Raven just roasted Cinder. But Cinder got roasted so hard, like how her name and all that fits with the Fall Maiden, the, like, status, but then also how she roasted, you know, Emerald and Mercury, and then roasted freaking the, the man, the, like, oh, man, like, it just... Like, it was an entire funny scene. It, it was just very funny. I, I laughed at that scene, the roasting. The, the roasting that Raven just did. I, I couldn't help but laugh. So, I, I'll just say right now, 
that that was probably the best moment. It's what saved the episode for me. It just, there was a lot of problems with this episode. I do hope that it turns around because <sighs> the Blake stuff right now is very, very boring. It, it, there's not really much going on there. But then on top of that too, it just, like, it seems like Rooster Teeth is kind of scared of tackling you know, action scenes ever again. That's what it seems like to me. So I just wanted to point that out. I want to end it there. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack, so if you don't like me and you don't like this video, you know, leave a dislike. I understand. I know how it's going to be. I already sense it, but yeah, I just wanted to say my piece on the episode. So I love you guys. You have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. Love you guys. Please be safe. Chibi out.